hello everyone how are you going welcome back to another video today we are gonna see the difference between user mode and kernel mode already let's begin user mode and kernel mode both are two different methods in which modern operating systems can work and execute certain programs the main difference between them is that user mode is the restricted mode in which applications run and kernel mode is the privileged mode to which computer enters when accessing hardware resources now let's discuss user mode first when we open an application in a computer it runs in user mode by default some examples are world application powerpoint pdf file browsing the internet and so on these are application programs so they always run in user mode let me make it more clear to you when we run a program on an operating system let's just say a game then operating system launches the program in user mode it is also important to note that when an application program wants to run in user mode virtual address space is created for it by the windows every process gets their own address space and cannot access address space which belongs to the kernel so the failure of one process will not affect the operating system if an error occurs it only affects that particular process okay now as i mentioned above user mode is a restricted mode so there is a limited access to hardware resources that's why this mode is also known as privileged mode or slave mode applications running in user mode cannot access hardware resources directly to access the resources they must go through the kernel mode now what is kernel mode also known as system mode master mode or high privileged mode system always starts in kernel mode when it boots up kernel mode has direct access to all the underlying hardware resources basically kernel mode refers to the processor mode that allows applications to have full and unrestricted access to the systems and its resources for example if an application is running in user mode it must make a system call to the kernel to access system resources kernel then acts as a gatekeeper between application and resources now keep in mind cpu switches to kernel mode when it processes system calls and then switches back to user mode to continue working on the program this transition is known as context switching now here is an important point to remember it's not possible to run all processes in kernel mode because if a process fails the entire operating system might go down while in user mode a single process fails if an error occurs so that's why a system crash in kernel mode is dangerous and makes things more complicated while in user mode a system crash can be recovered by simply resuming the session okay the bottom line is while the program is running in kernel mode it has unlimited access to the hardware however if the program is running in user mode it has limited access to the cpu and memory all right so this wraps up today's video i hope you understood the difference between user mode and kernel mode i will catch you in the next video make sure you hit the subscribe button